to make this cute one balloon butterfly. I did one with uh, two balloons, but I just want to show you how to make this cute one with one balloon. So here's what you need to get started. Just a 260, whatever color you want your butterfly, a five inch white round, and either two 260s for the antennas or one if you want to split it in half. Either way to do it is fine. Now let's get started. Take a 260 and give it a stretch and then let's inflate it. Inflate it the whole way to the end. And let a nice puff of air out. Start letting the air out because I'm a little on the mushy side. That's pretty nice and mushy. So I'm going to tie it. And now what we want to do is we're going to make a loop. See where his eyes is? We're going to make um, a loop. See where his eyes are right here? This head that goes around his eyes, that's what we're going to do now. So this is going to be um, three fingers right in the center of a loop. So you're going to hold the knot here, grab it here, and just twist that around right like that. And then flip this knot. I left my knot a little longer. When I inflated it, pull that right through and leave go, right like that. Now, um, when I made this one, I got a little confused which ones were the lower wings and which one was the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the eyes in now for that reason so I don't lose the head. Okay, <laughs> so what we're going to do is take the five inch white round, inflate it, and it's going to go inside here. So you just want to kind of hold it up and see, how, you know, make it a little smaller than that. So it's going to fit in the center of that. And then tie the knot. Take it through here. And I'm just going to tie it to the pink knot. I'm going to tie all that together. It might just uh, keep everything from coming apart. And then I'll tuck it right in the center just like that. So these are going to be my butterfly eyes. And then what we're going to do now, it could be like a long caterpillar. I think that would work. We're going to bring this right up to here and then this is going to be your butterfly body and that should be about four fingers. You can twist that off and wrap it around and just wrap this right around that crack and bring it through the wings right like that. And now what we want to do is make the wings, but the top wings are going to be a little bit larger than the bottom wings. So what we want to do for that is separate your balloon in half, but then go over to the side. Probably like up from the top and then about five fingers. It doesn't have to be exact. I'd go from top to top and then about five fingers. I'll just hold it here at the top and right under here where we're gonna make a twist, right like that. So you have what looks like a letter D, and then bring this down to the neck here. And you can use this little tail bubble, um, yeah, where the legs go with the butterfly, and flip it around. And you, and you just want it to be tight in the center. So you take this little bubble here and flip it around. I mean, that's why it's called balloon twisting. We twist them all together. So one's bigger on the top and one's smaller on the bottom here. And here's the head bubble. And then this one will get split in half. So we'll separate it with our thumbs. That's how you can separate the balloon in half and you know which is uh, half. It's just a good way to size up your balloon so that they match on each side. That's what I'm trying to say. And then separate your top bubbles like this. And then push that down. And then that all gets turned together. So you just kind of turn everything together like that. And let's tuck the eyes back in like this. And now the two smaller bubbles, see like this one? The two smaller bubbles are going to go on the bottom. And then the larger loops are going to go on the top. And then the face will go in the front. So we have this. So we'll turn, I'll turn these out and kind of open them up a little like that. 
and they just sit right in there like that. See? Looks kind of like a bow, huh? So we have that, and then for the antennas, what you want to do is take a 260 and put a little puff of air in it. Now, what you can do, and I said this on the other video, you can, uh, I'm going to inflate that to about three fingers and tie it, and then cut off above the knot. So right up above that knot, I'll just trim that off. But what you can do, you can um, just put a puff of air in that, and tie it, and then there's no bubble. Like, pretend that bubble's not here. And then you could just tuck this up under the chin, and then this, you know, will be like that without a bubble. You can use do that as a little easier if you're just getting started with balloon twisting. But, if you also want to try it the other way, you can just take uh, two bubbles like this, tie them together at the bottom. So this is two balloons. One, two right here, and then it's just tied together at the bottom. So pretend I have two of these. I measure it up to here, tie this off, and then I'll tie, or I'll tie it to the other one that's like this, and then tuck it up under the chin of the butterfly. But <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do it out of one. So we have one. And you hold the bubble, as a three finger bubble, and make a channel like this. You don't want to pinch it off, you want to let the air flow through, but you don't want it to bulge out. So I'm just going to create a channel like this so it can't bulge out. And then start puffing that air like that. Squeeze it until half of that air is out of the bubble. And then pinch underneath it. Don't leave go because all the air goes back down in. So when you have half of that squeezed up, hold underneath, pinch that, pinch it good, and then make a channel with this. I'm still holding the air in right under there. Make another channel. I have Sharpie all over me. And then squeeze that bubble, start squeezing it up, and then move up. Squeeze, you know, just make the channel and squeeze. But you'll, you'll get it with a little practice. You can do it. <laughs> and then hold this and still pinching this so it doesn't go down hold these together I let go I must have okay now you could I mean if it goes out now that it's been in that side usually it will squeeze back up so you have it like that and you can wedge it up under but I like to tie it just so that air doesn't come back out so you pinch it off and then pull it up around and tuck it in the back and give it a tug right like that you don't need to cut that off because you're not going to see that so then you just take it up under the chin of your butterfly like this. and oh with the eyes too i like to kind of pull them frontwards so i like to pull these eyes up forward like this and tuck this nose back so it's like this. Just to bring the eyes forward, it kind of, see it makes it a little skinnier right here and it makes his eyes stand out. I like doing that on these kind of designs where the eyes are, are done like that with the little loop around. And then I'm going to push this up right behind the ears like that. And I mean, usually I will twist this bubble in half and tuck it through, but you don't really need to. So I'm trying to show you like a quicker and easy butterfly where it doesn't have like a lot of pinch twists and all that crazy stuff in it that you can do like for line work or if you're more on like an advanced beginner or you know just quick cute stuff is what I'm trying to shoot for. So here's this and then we're gonna draw the eyes on. I'm just gonna rest my hand here and make circles, big circles. So, I'm going to fill that in and then try <laughs> my best to match that up on the other side and layer this part of your hand against something to hold it still. Just like you would do if you're face painting 
don't know if you guys do that. I don't like to face paint during um, flu season because <laughs> the kids sometimes uh, will cough right on you. They don't know a lot about um, germs and stuff like that until they get a little older. Some of them do, but some of them get a little crazy. <laughs> okay, so there's butterfly eyes and I kind of look at those. See, um, I know like sometimes eyes in animals like your elephants or something might be like on the sides, but I like to take the eyes if they're on the sides and push them up to the front because it looks cuter head on like that. And then we take like commas, well, they're up, apostrophes, one backwards. I make a circle and then draw down and then a circle, draw down and then two cheeks and the letter V. And then V's like this and little circles for their feet, like landing feet, like this, see? And then what I like to do, I don't have um, a stick. Do I have a stick yet? I have a dowel rod. But, I mean, normally I use plastic sticks. I mean, like sticks in cups. And where I can find sticks, and I'll put my butterfly on a flying stick and you just tuck it right into the crack and then they can fly it around and you give it to the kid on a little one of those like strong straws and they can fly around and there is your butterfly if you like my videos like and subscribe to my channel I appreciate it and I do offer blue courses too thanks so much have a great day